Oh, big Good hugs. <laughs> So our weather today, it's going to be cloudier than yesterday, but still pretty mild in terms of our temperatures. We're not in for a huge cool down just yet, but for Sunday, our temperatures will be in impacted by this next system. Here's what it looks like right now from Loveland Ski Area. We've been talking about it. We need the snow. As of this weekend, we're looking at a few flurries at higher elevations, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like the system is going to pan out to be much of a real snow event. So by Pikes Peak, as you can see, some high clouds. We'll continue to see more cloud coverage through the afternoon. A mix of sun and clouds, so a little more sunshine as we get into the later half of the day. But for the temperatures outside this morning, it's pretty mild for what we should be seeing for our early morning temperatures in Denver. 39 degrees in town up into Fort Collins, 38. So cold across the western half of the state. Craig only at 11 in single digits and teens into our mountains under cloudy skies. Now as we head throughout the day today, hour by hour across much of the metro area, expect to see by 11 o'clock mid to upper 40s will top out around 50 degrees in some spots, but more cloud coverage will keep us a bit cooler. Typically we should be at 42 with our low around 17, but our overnight lows tonight will drop down to the 20. 20s. By 3 o'clock this afternoon across the state, Steamboat, 37 degrees, Gunnison in the upper 30s as well. And across the plains, it'll be a bit breezy, especially out to the northeast by Sterling down into Burlington. Here's what it looks like on our future cast. Much of the moisture will stay further north, but if we head throughout tonight into tomorrow and things start to shift in the way I'm hoping, then we'll see a couple of early morning flurries. Through the afternoon hours, though, some clearing skies, but by 10 o'clock, as you can see, a little bit of moisture filtering in from north to south. Fort Collins could be picking up a few scattered snow showers, especially across the far northeastern plains near Julesburg, Sterling, and Akron. In Denver, we'll have a slight chance of a wintry mix, so a few showers overnight into the early morning hours. Shouldn't amount to much, no real accumulation, but could be seeing some some slick spots on our bridges and overpasses around town at higher elevations into the foothills. By 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, clearing skies into our mountains. We'll start off again nice and chilly, but by Sunday afternoon, more sunshine and clear skies statewide. So it'll be a fast moving system. Once again, we get those here in Colorado this time of the year. So our temperatures overnight, single digits and teens once again into our mountains. Across the plains, we'll see 20s and some teens into Lyman and Burlington. But around town for tomorrow, Highlands Ranch will be 43. Three. Same down into Castle Rock, Parker and Elizabeth, low 40s. Out at the airport, we're looking at upper 30s and then into our mountains where we'll see a little more sunshine through the middle of the afternoon. We'll see 30s to low 40s. So here's our seven day forecast. A bit of a shift in terms of our weather pattern for early next week. Clearing skies, mild come Tuesday. Clouds will start to increase. Right now, we know how quickly weather changes in Colorado, but Wednesday into Thursday, it looks like this system is going to significantly impact our temperatures and bring us the chance of snow come Thursday. Overnight lows only in the teens as we round out this next work week. So milder for the weekend. It's definitely cooler than what we felt yesterday when we were in the 60s. I was in a tank top in the sun <laughs> yesterday uh, in December. So it's Crazy. just a beautiful state we live in with uh, a lot of inclement weather that's not coming just yet. So okay. we'll keep an eye on it for you. All right, Katie, thanks.